so it's a lovely sunny day here in Eddie Seda. Um, we have a planned trip to the JWC Maldives March 2022 to the southern atolls and I think it's I'm, I'm gonna try to keep a video blog of my training in preparation for maximizing uh, a month's worth of Maldivian surf. I'm 48 years old, um, around about 90 kilos, depending on the month. And, uh, you know, I need to get lighter, I need to get more agile, and I need to increase my paddling endurance. List IO. Music licensing reimagined. Music licensing reimagined. Got a little combination. Head up. I keep the fins on because it just uh, gives you a little bit of float in the legs that you can keep your head high and chin high and you can use your bats and pecs in the stroke when your head is high so it, I mean it mimics surfing stroke much better than a, a usual front pull I'm gonna do some sets of sprints 50 meter sprints times 4 25 meter sprints intermittent with some breath holds Lengths underwater to mimic some oxygen deprivation to the muscles. All right, let's go. So, before any exercise, and specifically before catching a wave, I like to try to just focus on the breathing a little bit. Try to get like a hold of six seconds in, six seconds out, six seconds in six seconds out. Nasal breathing through the nose as well, not the mouth.
That's tough. I haven't been in the pool for a while. So, the sprints represent paddling for a wave, catching a wave, uh, the work you do on a wave, then the breath hold is when you wipe out, or you need to paddle back out again. So it's quite a nice little combination of exertion and power, a little bit of endurance, and also maximizing your oxygen being underwater. Just get my breath back. I also use the fins because the leg muscles are so big. They really starve the body of oxygen. So we're gonna do a stroke, which is just really for relaxation and just for doing a bit of movement and for reminding ourselves when we're in the water just to, to relax and to slow the breathing down. So I call this the dolphin stroke. So, sort of time. Oh, been already in here for a while. Um, unfortunately, this sauna probably isn't really hot enough, so I like to chuck a little bit of water on the grill down there on the rocks. Uh, you know, and I sit as high up as I can to get as most heat. You really want about 25 minutes in here, and, and you know, you need it like 125 degrees, 130 degrees, really. Uh, that's Fahrenheit, not centigrade. Um, so let me, it's a good, a good point to just talk a little bit more about, uh, the, the fitness goals here. It's very important to realize, um, you know, I'm 48 years old. I have not been to the gym now for three weeks, uh, a little trip down to the Algarve to coach. I did a little bit of surfing, not too strenuous. Uh, and then, uh, we had a week in the Azores. Uh, we had some nice waves there. Uh, lots of hiking, lots of moving around, walking and stuff, but really there's, there was no intensity, no gym work, not for three weeks at least. So the first session back in the gym was very general, uh, general resistance training, a little bit of a circuit. Um, deep squats, very important, I feel, for surfing and, and not too heavy weight. You know, look, I'm, I'm trying to mimic the length of ride. You know, if you get a minute on a wave, uh, you know so a minute's worth of deep squats um and uh you're trying to get a little bit of a stretch um as well as a contraction you're trying to also get a, a stretch so I, I feel like a nice deep squat is very important um and if you're going for a slightly lighter weight you're not in danger of uh, hurting your back or, or straining your knee uh, which of course is super important 120, gym done, swim done, sauna done. Now let's get to the supermarket to uh, get some food. So sometimes I'm, I'm doing a little bit of intermittent fasting, you know, I, I'm kind of testing it. Um, you know, I used to be a big breakfast eater and I used to love breakfast and breakfast was the most important meal of my day but actually as I'm getting older I'm realizing that uh, just a couple of cups of coffee the first thing in the morning is is fine for me and, and I just hit the computer as early as I can in the morning um, and then try to hit, head to the gym at like 9 30 10 uh, and then I'll eat probably after the supermarket and then I'll eat probably like 2 30 so and then maybe I'll eat again at night. Uh, I'll try not to eat too late. Uh, probably like 
seven o'clock I might have some rice crackers or, or something you know it, it doesn't seem much of a calorie intake but uh, I don't know I just really seem to I mean I can't eat a lot at lunch so I have to really control myself a little bit uh, especially when you go to the supermarket now after being in the gym and having no breakfast um, takes a little bit of discipline and uh, like anything you know discipline is extremely important especially when it comes to what you eat um, and how often you train and uh, the quality of your training as well you know you don't want to push it too much but you also want to have incremental gains uh, that's the same as if you're trying to build muscle you want to incrementally increase the weight um, and possibly decrease the repetitions um, and if you're just really trying to get the heart rate up and to get a good uh, all-over sort of movement of the muscles and then you possibly want to go to about 20 repetitions of a, of a weight where you can't really push more than 20 or 25 um, but the most important thing is taking your time and actually uh, keeping good form uh, that can't be expressed enough the amount of times I see people with very very poor form in the gym and, and getting serious injuries so if you don't know the form of the exercise that you need to take then you really need to just have one session with a personal trainer try to get the form nailed and it's a really good idea actually to film yourself uh, whilst you're with the personal trainer so that you actually have a, a log and a, and a memory of, of how your body should be and then over time you're you'll soon uh, adapt and uh, your body will remember the movements um, but form you know losing form and trying to push out extra repetition and uh, and you're losing your form you, you're just going to injure yourself particularly if you're a little bit older uh, so you know work to what you want to do if you want to gain a little bit of muscle uh, and then you want to possibly start incrementally increasing the weights gradually over time it's just about small increments small steps discipline keep going keep going keep going if you just want to keep uh, become more agile and just keep your joints and your muscles sort of working then you know you don't need to necessarily incrementally uh, you know if you don't want to build mass but you still need to work those muscles because if you don't work those muscles two three four weeks your muscles will start to atrophy and then you won't have any so you need to move you need to keep uh, even if it's maintenance or, or you're trying to you know I like to use resistance training because it gets my heart rate up but it also benefits my joints and it also you know creates some resistance to the muscle and uh, and works the muscle uh, and I am a full believer that uh, just doing a good vari variation of uh, of resistance training is is excellent for just a base level of fitness um, and that's just for life whether you're a sports person or just existing you need to move you need to have a base level a foundation level of fitness artlist io